In today's video, we are going to be using a special blend of white to create some magical, one-of-a-kind effects that can only be obtained using this blend. I'll also be using some unique items to create some amazing contours and composition. So get out those notepads and pencils and let's get started. Want to learn acrylic pouring? Come take a class with me. Connecticut and Jacksonville, Florida classes are now forming. Learn everything you need to know to become a proficient acrylic pour artist. Learn how to use a blow dryer properly. Learn how to thin down acrylic paint for all acrylic pouring techniques. Learn the bloom technique, one of the hardest techniques out there. It's all included, my friend. So reserve your spot today by emailing artbytammy at yahoo.com. I hope to see you there. Hello, my friend. Welcome to Tammy Anderson Art. Today's video is going to be a little different than my other videos. I know a lot of us are out shopping now. The holidays are amongst us and we really don't have a lot of time for YouTube videos. So I figured I'd do a little short video for you guys today. I'm going to make sure I put the exact recipe in the description of the video and I'll also talk you through it as we go here. For the next couple of weeks, while we're all out there preparing for Christmas, I'm gonna just give you a little relaxation and hold off on the heavy teaching until the new year. However, you know me, and I'll make sure that you understand by the time this video is through. So what I thought I would do today is just have a little fun and create a piece of art using acrylic paints that are mixed with only American Floetrol. Those are what you're seeing me put down right now. The exact ratios are one part paint to two parts Floetrol, no water added. These are all Masters Touch brand paints from Hobby Lobby and the white paint on the canvas is Artist Loft Soft Body Acrylic, the one that comes in the bottle. So I wanted to try something a little different today and just lay the paints down in a different fashion and have a little fun with it for once, not really care about what the composition was going to look like. I was just kind of doodling with my colors, we'll say. Now at the beginning of this video, I told you I was using a special white. That white is a combination of one part Artist Loft soft body acrylic paint to one part American Floetrol, one part GAC 800, and one part satin enamels. Now the satin enamels when added to white acrylic paint will create this puffy hazing look in your painting. What I wanted to create today was kind of a frosty wintery kind of a scene that just had some nice frosty blue uh, teal colors flowing through it just creating a nice flow of color, not worrying too much about cells or anything like that. So this is the special white that I am now placing on top of the color that I laid down first. And you can see, especially with the little dots of paint that I put down, how it creates that puffy, hazy look. So now I'm just going to take a palette knife and a few other things and create my contours in the paint. I'm going to let you watch this for a little bit and I will be back. But before I stop talking, I want to remind you at the end of this video, I will show you this week's batch of soap and you don't want to miss that.
so now I'm just adding a little more color and then I'm going to take my bouncy ball, plop it in the paint, roll it around, and you'll notice the beautiful contours that it makes when it goes around and spins through the color. You know, most people, normal people, I should say, <laughs> use a marble to do this, but I'm Tammy, so bouncy ball it is. Anyways, you're going to see the beautiful contouring it creates. And yes, you can do this with a marble. You don't have to use a bouncy ball. Uh, <laughs> it just, I love the way it glides through the color and just blends them together so nicely. So anyway, I'll be back in a bit, but don't give up on this painting. You may be saying, what a hot mess. But again, it's me. My paintings don't come to the together till the very end. So just stand by. We are almost there. So here it is all done. I got some really cool effects, some cells, lacing. I got my puffy look that I was going for. It's very wintry looking and I'm very happy with it. So again, I'll be sure to put all the ingredients and the exact measurements in the description of the video for you. Next week, I'm going to make sure to do this on a black background so it's more prominent. Like I said, I wanted to just get this fluffy snow blue ice kind of look and i achieved what i wanted but it's very hard to see that white puffiness on a white background so next week i will do black with some fun colors and uh i hope to see you back here then so my soap making i mentioned last week that i'm reopening my soap making business I got so many comments asking for a tutorial on how to make cold processed soap. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put together a very thorough step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do that, but it is going to take me a few weeks. So January sometime that will be out. But for now, let me show you this week's soap. I think you're going to love it. and. It's very, very cute. This week's soap is Cherry Lemonade. Now, let me start by saying this is not edible. No, you cannot eat this. So many people say, oh, it looks good enough to eat, but you can't eat it. Trust me, you won't like it. So almost every single thing in this soap is soap. The cherry is a soap. The lemon wedge is a soap. The soap is a soap. The only thing that's not a soap is the straw. I put the straw in there just for decoration. And people always ask, well, what do you do with the things that are on top? You simply remove the straw when you get it. It's just the decoration. But the little lemon wedge, I hand, I hand molded, hand painted the cherries. Same thing. And uh, look how beautiful this is. It smells so good. I cannot even tell you how good it smells. Don't be surprised if you use this, if people start sniffing you. <laughs> so the fragrance again is cherry lemonade and I wanted the bar to represent the name. So I got a little lemon wedge, a cherry and a straw because you would need a straw with lemonade, right? <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this. Again, these bars will be available in January. I will announce it on this channel. They look so cute. And uh, I'm right back in there making again. So make sure you're subscribed and your notification bell is on. So you can come back next Sunday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 
to see not only the new painting of the week, but also the new soap of the week. I want to thank you for joining me. In the description of this video are discount codes for all the supplies. Well, most of the supplies that I use and also a lot of information on classes, how to follow me on social media, how to contact me, things like that. I love you all. I want to thank you so very much for joining me. And until the next time, happy pouring.